Drummy loved drums more than anything else in the world. Ever since he was a baby, the rhythmic beats and the powerful sounds fascinated him. While his little friends were playing with their superhero toys and fire trucks, he would often sit for hours, tapping on anything he could find, creating his own little symphonies. His parents noticed his passion early on and encouraged him to explore it further. He loved their loud, booming sounds, the way the vibrations would travel through his body making his heart race with excitement. It was like the drums spoke a language only he could understand, a language of pure energy and joy. He loved their soft, gentle taps, the delicate rhythms that could soothe his mind and calm his spirit. Drummy found peace in the quiet moments, where the drums whispered secrets to him, secrets of ancient times and faraway lands. Most of all, Drummy loved his dad. His dad was his hero, his mentor, and his biggest fan. They shared a special bond, one that was strengthened by their mutual love for music. Drummy's dad was always there to guide him, to teach him new techniques, and to cheer him on during his performances. Drummy's dad was a dance hall superstar. He was known far and wide for his incredible drumming skills and his ability to bring any crowd to their feet. Drummy would watch his dad perform with awe, dreaming of the day he could join him on stage. He played the drums like a wizard, his hands moved with such speed and precision, it was as if the drumsticks were extensions of his own body. Every beat, every rhythm, was a spell cast upon the audience, enchanting them with the magic of music. Today was Drummy's fifth birthday. He was very excited. The house was decorated with colorful balloons and streamers, and the smell of freshly baked cake filled the air. Friends and family gathered to celebrate, and Drummy couldn't wait to see what surprises the day would bring. His dad had a special gift for him. Drummy's eyes sparkled with anticipation as his dad handed him a beautifully wrapped box. He could feel the weight of it in his hands, and his heart raced with excitement. It was a box wrapped in shiny paper. The paper glistened under the light, and the bright ribbons added a touch of magic to the gift. Drummy's fingers tingled as he carefully untied the ribbons, eager to see what was inside. Drummy ripped the paper off. Inside were two drumsticks. Wow! gasped Drummy. The drumsticks were beautiful. They were unlike any he had ever seen before, with intricate carvings and a smooth, polished finish. They were made of smooth, dark wood. The wood felt cool to the touch, and the carvings seemed to tell a story of their own. Drummy could hardly believe his eyes. These were no ordinary drumsticks. They were something special. They felt warm in his hands. As he held them, he could feel a strange energy coursing through them, as if they were alive. It was a feeling he had never experienced before, and it filled him with a sense of wonder and excitement. These are magical, Drummy, his dad winked. They have been passed down through generations of drummers in our family. They hold the power to unlock amazing abilities, but only for those who truly believe in the magic of music. They will unlock amazing powers, but only for you. Drummy's eyes widened with amazement. He could hardly wait to try them out and discover the incredible powers they held. This was the best birthday ever, and he knew that with these magical drumsticks, his drumming journey was just beginning. Drummy held the drumsticks tight. He could feel a tingle in his fingers. He started to tap a simple beat on his old toy drum. Boom, tap, tap, boom, tap, tap. Suddenly the room filled with a warm light. The light faded. Drummy looked at his hands. They were glowing. He felt different, braver. He hit the drums harder. Boom, boom, boom. The room shook, his dad laughed. That's the rhythm of courage. Use it well, son. One sunny afternoon, Drummy was playing in the garden. He tapped a bouncy rhythm on his toy drum. Boom bap, boom bap, boom bap. He wished he could fly like the birds above him. Suddenly he felt light. He was floating in the air. He was flying. Drummy laughed, his feet dangling off the ground. He had unlocked a new power, the boom bap of flight. He could fly just by playing his drums. But not everyone loved music and fun. 
In fact, there were some who despised it with every fiber of their being. These were the villains of the world, the ones who thrived on misery and gloom. They couldn't stand the sound of laughter, the joy of singing, or the rhythm of dancing. They were the enemies of all things cheerful and harmonious. There were villains in the world who hated happy sounds. They lurked in the shadows, waiting for the perfect moment to strike and spread their hatred. They thrived in dark, stormy places where the sun rarely shone, and their hearts were as cold as the deepest winter night. These villains were not just characters in a story. They were real, and their presence was felt by all who loved music and joy. Drummy learned about them from his dad's stories. Every night, by the warm glow of the fireplace, Drummy's father would tell him tales of these fearsome foes. He would describe their evil deeds and their relentless pursuit of silence and sorrow. Drummy listened with wide eyes, absorbing every detail, knowing that one day he might have to face these villains himself. There was Grog, the grumpy troll, who hated laughter. Grog lived deep in the darkest part of the forest, where the trees were twisted and the air was thick with gloom. He had a broken banjo that he used to smash anything that made a joyful sound. Grog's greatest wish was to silence the laughter of children and make the world as grumpy as he was. He wanted everyone to be as grumpy as him. Grog believed that if he couldn't be happy, no one else should be either. He would stomp through the forest, scowling at anyone who dared to smile. His furrowed brows and grumpy mood were a constant reminder of his mission to spread misery. Then there was Squeak, the goblin who despised singing. Squeak lived in a damp, dark cave, far away from the cheerful songs of the village. He had a squeaky clarinet that he used to drown out any melody he heard. Squeak's evil grin would appear whenever he managed to silence a singer, and he dreamed of a world where no one would ever sing again. He wished for a world of silence. Squeak's ultimate goal was to create a world where the only sound was the eerie silence of his cave. He imagined empty streets and people with fingers on their lips, afraid to make a sound. This vision of a silent world was what drove him to continue his wicked deeds. There was Hazel, the wicked witch, who loathed dancing. Hazel lived in a dark, crumbling castle on the edge of a desolate moor. She had a cracked symbol that she used to cast spells that would freeze people in place, preventing them from dancing. Hazel's hatred for dancing was so intense that she would go to great lengths to ensure that no one ever moved to the rhythm of music again. She wanted everyone to sit still and be bored. Hazel believed that if she couldn't enjoy dancing, no one else should either. She would cast her spells on anyone who dared to dance, leaving them sitting still with bored expressions. The sight of an empty dance floor brought her a twisted sense of satisfaction. And then there was Mischief, the mischievous imp who couldn't stand harmony. Mischief lived in a chaotic, cluttered lair filled with broken instruments and discarded sheet music. He had a dented trumpet that he used to create discordant sounds, disrupting any harmony he encountered. Mischief's sneaky grin would appear whenever he managed to create chaos and confusion. He loved to create chaos and discord. Mischief thrived on the chaos he created, relishing the sight of people arguing and things falling over in disarray. His greatest joy came from turning harmonious villages into places of turmoil and strife. Mischief's mission was to ensure that harmony was a thing of the past. And finally, there was Grumble, the grumpy giant, who hated all music. Grumble lived in a mountain cave, high above the world, where the air was thin and the silence was deafening. He had an out-of-tune tuba that he used to drown out any music he heard. Grumble's angry face was a constant reminder of his hatred for all things musical. He wished for a world without a single note. Grumble's ultimate goal was to create a world where music no longer existed. He imagined a landscape with no sound, where musical instruments were destroyed, and the only thing that remained was the deafening silence of his mountain cave. This vision of a silent world was what drove Grumble to continue his mission to eradicate music from the world. One day, a terrible thing happened. The sky darkened, and an eerie silence fell over the small town. People gathered in the town square, whispering anxiously. Suddenly, a commotion broke out in the peaceful neighborhood. 
The toy thief came to town. Under the cover of night, a shadowy figure crept through the streets. He moved silently, slipping through dark alleyways and sneaking past houses, his hooded cloak blending into the shadows. He stole all the toys. Children woke up to find their beloved toys missing. Their hands were empty and their hearts were heavy with sadness. One child, Drummy, held a broken toy and felt a deep sense of loss. The shadowy figure, now with a sack full of toys, slipped away into the night. This was a job for the rhythm of courage. Drummy knew he had to do something. He grabbed his drumsticks with determination. His heart pounded with a mix of fear and resolve. He was ready to face the toy thief. He closed his eyes and thought of all the sad children. He beat his drum. Boom, boom, boom. The sound echoed through the night, carrying with it the hopes and dreams of every child in the town. Each beat was a call to action, a declaration of bravery. He felt brave and strong. The rhythm of his drum filled him with courage. He stood tall, his eyes shining with determination. He knew he could do this. He could bring back the joy to the children of the town. He found the toy thief. In a dark corner, he saw the shadowy figure. Drummy's heart raced, but he didn't back down. He pointed at the thief, his voice steady and strong. Give back the toys, he demanded. He played a loud, fast beat. His drumsticks flew over the drum, creating a powerful rhythm. The sound was intense, filled with the energy of his determination. It was a beat that no one could ignore. The toy thief started to dance. The rhythm took control of him. He couldn't resist the powerful beat. His feet moved uncontrollably, and he began to dance wildly, unable to stop. He danced so wildly, he dropped all the toys. The sack burst open and toys spilled out, scattering across the ground. The children's treasures were finally free, and the town's joy was restored. One sunny morning, Drummy went to the park. But something was wrong. There were no birds singing. The children were silent. Even the rustling leaves were still. This was Squeak's doing. Drummy knew what to do. He closed his eyes. He imagined the park filled with happy sounds. He tapped a gentle rhythm on his drum. Slowly, sounds returned. The birds chirped. The children laughed. The park was alive with music again. One day, Drummy saw smoke. A small house was on fire. He had to warn everyone. But the fire was too far to run. Drummy knew he had to fly. He held his drumsticks tight. He focused on the rhythm of his beating heart. Boom, bap, boom, bap, boom, bap. He began to rise. He flew over the houses towards the fire. He beat his drums as loud as he could. The people heard the booming sound. They escaped the fire just in time. One evening, everything felt chaotic. People were arguing, babies were crying, even the dogs were barking. Drummy knew mischief was behind this. He had to bring back peace and quiet. Drummy closed his eyes. He imagined a calm, quiet night. He tapped his drumstick softly, slowly. He played a peaceful lullaby. The arguing stopped. The babies fell asleep. Even the dogs stopped barking. Peace returned thanks to Drummy's magical drumsticks. Drummy continued to use his magical drumsticks. He stopped Hazel's boring spells with his joyful rhythms. He even made Grumble smile with a funny beat. He knew there would always be more adventures. But Drummy was ready. He had the rhythm of courage and the beat of flight. He was Drummy, the little drummer boy, and he always had a beat to save the day. <laughs>